All right, folks, now we want to check the windings in our compressor, too, to see if we have a bad compressor. And the only way or the only test we can do to see if the compressor is bad out of two things that can be possibly wrong. If there's something mechanically wrong, we're not going to find that out right here in testing the circuitry, which is why we test the windings. But the next test we're going to do is to see if we have good um, circuitry right here in the compressor's windings. And how we do that is we measure from common to start, start to run, and run to common. That would be the bottom one to the top left and then the bottom one to the top right. The bottom one is your common. The top right is the start and the top left is going to be the run. Now, the common to run and then the common to start, both of those should equal the same continuity or resistance that is between the start and the run. So basically what that is saying is bottom to right and bottom to left should equal the same thing as right to left. So let's um, go ahead and put one of our clamps on here on the common. And it doesn't matter which one you do first. As long as you remember, you can't remember, write it down. We got continuity. And this is from common to run. And it's coming out to 4.7, 4.8. It shouldn't take that long to balance out like that. So the compressor could be going bad within the windings too. But we're going to go ahead and leave that as... Well, 4.8, and then we're doing 4.9, 5, it's jumping in between. Good. We're going to go with 5 to round it off. Now let's go with common and start. Common and start. We got about a 10.6, 10.7. So we're going to roll with... Well, let's see what it's going to do. We're going to go ahead and go with 11 since it topped out at 11. Okay. So since we had a 5 on the common to run, we got 11 on common to start. So between our start and our run, we should get a, um, 16, right? 5 and 11 makes 16. So let's see what we get when we hook up the two top ones which is our start and run. Now, if we don't get a, see, look at that. It, it jumped way up to 32 when we should be right around a 16. We have a bad compressor. Yeah, folks, that's a bad compressor. The run and start winding shouldn't even be that high. We are way up at 31. Bad compressor. Other than that, folks, if you get all that reading was right right there and the compressor wasn't working, then you have something bad inside that's mechanically. But my issue is going to be in my start and run winding. So I have to replace my compressor. Well, unfortunately, folks, that concludes the end of this video. I thank you for watching. If you like what I have shown you, please like and subscribe. Leave me any comments, any new tests that any of you HVAC doers out there might know of that I can try. But other than that, I know my stuff pretty much, so I know I need a new compressor. Thank you for watching. Peace out.